What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to get Android 4.2.2 on your Galaxy S2 device. If you want to learn how to do it on an S3, you might want to visit my friend Messentech. It will be in the description below. And well, this is the AT&T version. It also works in the international version as well as the T-Mobile version. So you're pretty much covered. So let's get going. Alright YouTube, so first step first is installing the apps and stuff that we need onto our SD card. So, in this case I'm going to be leaving the links that you'll need in the description below. You won't need keys for this particularly install. So here's my, you know, my files. And well, once you know that you got them in a safe folder because they do come separate once you got them in a safe folder you just basically open up the give me a quick second alright now that we connect our device you will get this I suggest you guys put them in the SD card and in the internal storage in case you can't find it in either I mean in case you can't find it on one you know for sure you you'll have it on another. So as simple as just dragging it into, you know, the other folder. And you wait this process and I'm gonna skip to the next part. So the next take the next part takes uh place on our device. You're gonna press the power button, the volume up, the volume down button at the same time. Notice that we're doing this to boot our device into what's called recovery mode. And in recovery mode you can basically install any packages, any ROMs, any root access, you know, you can just basically modify your phone from here. So it's gonna reboot and you know do what it has to do two times. So don't be worried, just keep on pressing it. Do not let go, otherwise it will boot into the ROM. So now we're going to, you know, look to where it says install zip from SD card and in order to log into there we're going to press the power button. I did not know that when I first started so just press the power button and you'll successfully be in there. So now it'll give you the option to choose from internal SD card where I told you that you should save to both of them and choose zip from the regular SD card. So we're going to choose zip from the regular SD card as you can see it says that at the top and well there's the two files that we need. The first one that we're going to install is the Super Nexus 2.0 i77-built3.zip. We're going to scroll down to where it says yes and we're going to press the power button. Once we do that we're going to let this load what it has to do. Be very patient while you're doing this and notice that we're going to have to um, factory reset our phone which this means it's going to get rid of your apps there is an app on the Android market I mean on the Google Play Store called um, oop sorry uh, that's called uh, boot ROM and what boot ROM will do is that it'll you no wait wait it's titanium backup my bad and you can basically save apps and stuff into your SD card so that once you go back they're still in your SD card and just install them without having to download a whole bunch of apps all over again. So now it's over and it says installed from SD card complete. So our Nexus 2.0 i77 built 3 is successfully installed now. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna you know wipe the fact wipe the uh, partition slash factory reset like I told you to do scroll down to where it says yes let this load up let, let it do what it has to do and there you go now you're gonna go to where it says wipe cache partition scroll down to where it says yes and press the power button now we're gonna just wait again and this time we're gonna go to our system install, install zip like I had told you before but this time we're gonna click still on the choose zip from SD card one but we're gonna put the gaps JB 
two, twelve, 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 you know, whole bunch of random numbers, sign, that's it. Gonna install this so that we can have the Google Play Store once installed and some, you know, stock Google apps because this ROM does not come with it. That's the only bad part that you will have to install it for yourself. So as you can see, is installing the apps as as we speak. And install complete. So now we're gonna go back to where it says reboot system. Now we can press the power button. It's gonna restart my phone. I'm gonna skip over this part just to let you know the first boot does take about a minute to two minutes. So I'm gonna skip over this so that the video won't get that big. All right, it's ending up as we speak. It took about three minutes partially, and now it's giving me the welcome screen. This is a good sign. This is where you choose from either English from the United States, English from the United Kingdom, or in Spanish from Spain, and a whole bunch of other. So now we're gonna, I recommend you guys to get connected to your Wi-Fi, because if you're not, it's gonna use your cellular network to download all the apps that you had before and all the contacts and stuff because you might want to pair it up with your email so that you won't lose any contacts and you'll still have everything up to date so now that we're connecting or connected it's gonna say do you have a google account if so put your email and password so once we put our email and password just gonna click I believe it said yes or next. So, hold up. I type kind of slow. I apologize, you guys. Hope you guys like this accent that I'm trying right now. It's actually something that I did for my school. Alright, so now we're back to where it says entertainment. We're gonna put not now. Unless you want to set it up, of course. You might want to back it up. Back it up. Back, 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 back to that. Back, back, back. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so now Google and location. I, rec I recommend you guys to use it so that you can find your phone in case they get lost. Voila, our home screen. And this is version 4.2.2. Let me just show you guys. Let's go to. Oops, making sure it works. Ching ching, it works. Alright, let's go to where it says oh hold up gosh why do I have so many notifications alright now we can finally go to where it says settings yeah settings come on dude just click on settings alright now we can go to where it says about phone to the bottom and I'm going to show you guys that I have Android 4.2.2 jelly bean so there you go you guys I'm gonna wrap this video up subscribe to me my tech nation buddies why on films mess and tech he's an awesome tech reviewer guy um, and thank you guys for watching I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys in a way till next time peace don't crash anything boo 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 blah, blah, blah. bye peace